Hey guys, it's Chantrinas, and today I'm going to be using a lot of new products. Um, I, right now I have a mask on my face, and it is from Peter Thomas Roth. And after I use my mask, I'm going to go ahead and tone my face with this Pixi Glow Tonic Toner. And I saw Jackie Ayana use it, so I wanted to try it out. I saw Jackie Ayana wearing army pants and flip flops, so I bought army pants and flip flops. Because it's Jackie. And then after that, I'm going to use this new moisturizer that I have. It's from Bobbi Brown. It's their vitamin enriched face base, and it's supposed to be like a uh, primer and a moisturizer in one, so I'm going to use that. Um, but this isn't going to be a talk through. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the skincare before I started and about this palette that I'm so excited to use. I do have a shirt on, you can see the sleeves, but yeah. So this one is from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. I am so, I did a couple swatches, so it's a little um, messy, but I am so excited. Look at this, y'all. Oh my God, I'm so excited to use this. So. Yeah, that's why I got the color for shirt on. I'm too hyped. I'm so, I'm so excited. This thing is so beautiful and it swatches so nicely. I'm gonna go ahead, finish up my skincare and come back when my eyebrows are on and uh, show you some of this new stuff that I got. Okay, so we're gonna zoom out here. Teensy, 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 a little bit. Okay, so you can see my jacket back there, but that's okay. <clears throat> And the foundation that I'm using today is new, but I've used it already in a couple of photos. So I guess, I mean, technically this isn't a first time, what is that? Like, what's that, those videos called that people do? First trials, first impressions, that's what it is. It's not a first impressions, because I've already used it. And I, I just love how it looks on my skin. But I do have a concealer that I've never used before that I'm pretty excited about. Um, anyway, so my foundation that I'm gonna use is from Huda Beauty. And the color that I have is called Coco 510R. And that's what it looks like. I've used it a couple times already, so it's a little, the bottle's a little dirty. But I'm gonna use that with my e.l.f. foundation blurring brush. This stuff does have a smell. I can't really tell you. It just kind of smells like a like an Estee Lauder perfume. Like for older. People. Well, I mean, anyone can like this. A lot of perfumes, but I usually see like older people buying them. Okay, that's as blended as it's gonna get. I love this foundation, you guys, it looks so pretty. Okay, next one is a new concealer. I haven't tried this one on yet, so this is gonna be a first time for me. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I haven't tried it out with this foundation, so I have no idea what this is gonna look like. I just swatched it on my hand when I first got it, and that was that was it. Like, I haven't, I haven't used this before. Hopefully the color is good, because I have, I mean like, I swatched it on my hand and the color seemed fine, but on camera it's looking a little pink. Oh no. Oh goodness, okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. It almost looks like the color of my, um, what's it called, my NARS concealer. My NARS one is a little bit darker though, I feel like. Oh my god, okay. I hope this is as good as everyone says it is, because I swear everybody and my mama uses concealer. I might have used a little bit too much, but that's okay. That's okay, I'm gonna end up contouring anyway, so that's fine. I, 
I don't have a new contour, so I'm just gonna use what I usually use, um, which today will be, this one is really old, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, but this is my Bin Nye Cream Shadow in the color uh, Dark, Extra Dark. Yeah, it's in the color Extra Dark, because I am extra chocolatey, and my contour has to be as chocolatey as a me. All right guys, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm in love with this Bright Lights palette. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it is from Pinky Rose Cosmetics and it is gorgeous. I'll um, insert a couple swatches. My battery is about to die though, so don't quote me on that. Yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It is at Chantrina's. And if you want to see how I've been doing my hair lately, give me a thumbs up because I did get one of those cool hair sponge curly things that I used for the first time today. Um, and this was my first time doing it. So I think I did a pretty good job and I didn't use any gel. So this was just how it, how I did it with just like some mousse. And um, if you're not familiar with the hair sponges, this is what they look like. It's basically for anyone with the TWA, teeny weeny afro for those who don't know natural hair terminology. And mine was $6 from the beauty supply store. So yeah. So yeah, leave me a thumbs up if you wanna see a new natural hair routine coming up. I also have a video of me, how I dyed this hair coming up pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. And, um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.